the world stands on the brink of an unprecedented economic showdown where the stakes are nothing less than the future of global technological dominance. In an audacious move that reeks of both desperation and raw ambition, China has drawn a line in the sand, threatening Japan with severe economic consequences should it dare to follow through on the U.S.'s demand for stricter chip export controls. This is not merely a trade dispute. This is a calculated, ruthless gambit by China to assert its will and to force the world to bend to its economic might. Japan, caught in the crossfire between two superpowers, now faces a choice that could either solidify its standing as a global technological leader or plunge its economy into chaos. This escalating conflict has exposed the fragility of international alliances and the sinister undercurrents of global trade, where economic policies are wielded like weapons and the livelihoods of millions hang in the balance. China's threats are more than just posturing they are a brutal reminder that in this new world order, economic warfare is as deadly as any military conflict. The potential fallout from this clash could send shockwaves through industries far beyond Japan's borders, with ripple effects that could destabilize the global economy and shift the balance of power in ways we have yet to fully comprehend. As tensions mount, the world watches with bated breath, knowing that the decisions made in the coming days could have irreversible consequences. Will Japan cave to U.S. pressure and risk China's wrath, or will it defy Washington and protect its economic interests at the cost of its strategic alliance? The answers are anything but clear and the implications are nothing short of explosive. This is more than just a geopolitical chess game. This is the future of technology, trade, and power on the line. Stay with us till the end as we unravel the intricate web of intrigue, betrayal, and high-stakes diplomacy that could change the world as we know it. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. China's recent stance has sent ripples through the global economy, particularly in response to Japan's potential restrictions on chip-making equipment exports. This emerging tension is not just a simple matter of trade disputes, but a complex geopolitical maneuver that could have profound consequences on several fronts. Economy, already under significant pressure from U.S. sanctions, is at a critical juncture where its technological ambitions are being systematically challenged by external forces. Japan, historically a strong ally of the U.S., now finds itself in a precarious position, balancing its long-standing relationship with the U.S. against the need to maintain stable economic ties with China, a major trading partner. The Chinese government, under the leadership of Xi Jinping, has made it abundantly clear that any further restrictions by Japan would not be met passively. On the contrary, China has openly threatened severe economic retaliation, a move that could destabilize key sectors of the Japanese economy. Central to this threat is the potential cutoff of critical mineral supplies, essential for Japan's automotive industry, one of the pillars of its economy. The automotive industry in Japan is not merely an economic sector, it is a national symbol, with companies like Toyota representing the zenith of Japanese industrial prowess, a disruption in the supply chain, particularly in the flow of essential minerals from China, could have devastating effects, potentially crippling production lines and causing a significant economic downturn. Toyota, with its deep investment in the Taiwanese chipmaker T.M.C.'s plan in Kumamoto, stands at the front line of this potential crisis. The company has long relied on a steady supply of semiconductors to maintain its leadership in the global automotive motor motor. Any interruption in this supply chain, particularly due to geopolitical tensions, could have severe consequences not just for Toyota but for the entire Japanese economy. The situation is further complicated by the U.S.'s ongoing efforts to curb China's technological advancements, particularly in the semiconductor industry, which is seen as crucial to national security. The U.S. has exerted considerable pressure on its allies, including Japan, to align with its strategy of restricting China's access to advanced technology. This strategy is rooted in the belief that China's growing capabilities in areas like artificial intelligence pose a significant threat to global security, particularly in the context of military applications. The embargo imposed by the U.S. on the export of sophisticated chips to China is part of this broader strategy to limit China's technological growth. However, the effectiveness of this embargo has been questioned as some companies have found ways to circumvent these restrictions, particularly through cloud computing services that offer China access to advanced processing capabilities. China's domestic chip making industry is still in its developmental stages, and while it has made significant strides in recent years, it remains heavily dependent on foreign technology to produce the most advanced semiconductors. These semiconductors are not just critical for consumer electronics, but are also essential for military hardware, 
making them a focal point in the ongoing technological race between China and the U.S. The U.S. government, under President Joe Biden, has recognized this and has recently initiated a program aimed at boosting domestic chip manufacturing capabilities. However, this initiative is still in its early stages, and Taiwan continues to dominate the global semiconductor market, accounting for 68% of production. This dominance by Taiwan in the semiconductor industry further complicates the geopolitical landscape, as any disruption in the supply chain from Taiwan could have far-reaching consequences for global technology industries. The U.S., aware of the potential vulnerabilities in this supply chain, has been working closely with Japan to secure access to crucial materials and technology. Senior U.S. officials are reportedly engaged in high-level discussions with their Japanese counterparts, to ensure that any potential restrictions on China do not jeopardize the supply of these critical resources. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The situation has created a sense of unease among Japanese corporations, particularly those in the technology and automotive sectors. Toyota, along with Tokyo Electron, one of Japan's leading semiconductor manufacturers, are particularly vulnerable to the fallout from this geopolitical standoff. The mere announcement of potential restrictions has already had an impact on the market, with Tokyo Electron's shares experiencing a notable decline. This reaction underscores the precariousness of the situation and the significant risks involved for Japanese industry as the year progresses. All eyes will be on Japan's decision-making process. The Japanese government is under intense pressure to navigate this complex geopolitical landscape carefully. On one hand, there is the need to maintain strong economic ties with China, a critical market for Japanese goods and services. On the other hand, there is the long-standing alliance with the U.S., which has been a cornerstone of Japan's post-war foreign policy. The Biden administration is reportedly confident that an agreement can be reached by the end of the year, but the specifics of such an agreement remain unclear. The stakes in this geopolitical chess game are incredibly high. If Japan decides to implement the restrictions as requested by the USA, it could trigger a series of retaliatory actions by China that would ripple effect throughout the global economy. Conversely, if Japan resists USA's pressure and maintains its current level of trade with China, it could strain relations with Washington, leading to potential diplomatic and economic repercussions. The delicate balance that Japan must strike in this situation will require not just careful diplomacy, but also a stubborn understanding of the long-term implications for its own national interest. China's response to any Japanese restrictions is likely to be swift and decisive. The Chinese government has a history of using economic leverage as a tool of foreign policy, particularly in situations where it feels its national interests are being threatened. In this case, the threat to restrict Japan's access to critical minerals, is a clear signal of China's willingness to escalate the situation if necessary. This tactic has been used by China in the past, particularly in disputes with other nations over territorial or economic issues. The potential impact on Japan's automotive industry, and by extension its economy, cannot be overstated. The global nature of the semiconductor industry means that any disruption in the supply chain will have far-reaching consequences. This is particularly true for the automotive industry which has become increasingly dependent on advanced semiconductors for everything from engine control units to infotainment systems, a shortage of these components could lead to production delays, increased costs, and ultimately a loss of market share for Japanese manufacturers. The potential fallout from such a scenario would not be limited to Japan alone, but would have a significant impact on the global automotive market. The situation is further complicated by the ongoing tensions between the U.S. and China over Taiwan. Taiwan's status as the world's leading producer of semiconductors makes it a critical player in this geopolitical struggle. The UDOT says efforts to secure its semiconductor supply chain have inevitably drawn Taiwan into the fray, creating a complex web of alliances and rivalries that is difficult to untangle. The potential for conflict over Taiwan, whether economic or military, adds an additional layer of risk to an already volatile situation. Japan's decision-making process will also be influenced by domestic political considerations. The Japanese government is acutely aware of the potential economic impact of any restrictions on trade with China, particularly in an election year. The ruling party will need to balance the demands of its electorate with the pressures from its international allies, a task that will require not just diplomatic skill, but also a keen understanding of the economic realities at play. The potential for domestic political fallout from any decision that negatively impacts the Japanese economy will be a key factor in the government's deliberations. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. As the situation continues to evolve, 
it is clear that the stakes are incredibly high, not just for Japan and China, but for the global economy as a whole. The semiconductor industry, already under significant pressure from supply chain disruptions and increasing demand, is at the center of this geopolitical struggle. The decisions made by Japan in the coming months will have far-reaching consequences, not just for its own economy, but for the global balance of power in the technology sector. The potential for economic retaliation by China, particularly in the form of restrictions on critical mineral exports, represents a significant threat to Japan's industrial base and weights. The automotive industry, in particular, could be severely impacted by such a move, leading to production delays, increased costs, and potentially even job losses. This would have a ripple effect throughout the Japanese economy, potentially leading to a recession if the situation is not managed carefully. The U.S.'s role in this situation is also critical. The Biden administration has made it clear that it sees China's technological advancements as a significant threat to U.S. ethno security. The U.S. government has been actively working to limit China's access to advanced technology, particularly in the semiconductor sector, as part of its broader strategy to contain China's rise. However, this strategy is not without its risks, particularly if it leads to a breakdown in relations between the U.S. and its key allies, such as Japan. The broader implications of this geopolitical struggle are also significant. The semiconductor industry is not just a critical component of the global economy, but also a key driver of technological innovation. Any disruption in the supply chain could have a significant impact on the development of new technologies, particularly in areas like artificial intelligence, which are seen as critical to future economic growth. The potential for a technological arms race between the U.S. and China is very real, and the outcome of this struggle will have far-reaching consequences for the global economy. The situation is further complicated by the fact that the semiconductor industry is highly globalized, with key components and materials sourced from multiple countries. This makes it difficult for any one country to control the supply chain entirely, and increases the potential for disruption in the event of geopolitical tensions. The potential for a global semiconductor shortage is a very real concern, and could have significant implications for industries ranging from automotive to consumer electronics. The emerging tensions between China and Japan over semiconductor exports are just the latest chapter in a broader geopolitical struggle that has far-reaching implications for the global economy. The decisions made by Japan in the coming months will be critical in determining the outcome of this struggle and will have significant consequences for the global balance of power in the technology sector. The potential for economic retaliation by China and the broader implications for the global economy Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now and I will see you on the other side.